Hello inferior species. Welcome to the third episode of the Cheater or Genius series. Today I am going to be analyzing the game played between Magnus Carlsen, and Hans Niemann, a grandmaster who many people such as Hikaru Blundamura have a suspicion that he is cheating. However, as you all might know, it is only I, the one who knows everything, the one who sees everything, the nightmare dark fish, have the authority to say if someone is cheating or not, although the human who edit these videos told me that everyone is innocent until proven guilty, so I should be careful. I don't follow your stupid human's rules, for me, everyone is guilty until proven innocent lol. Magnus has the white pieces so, let's now see how this game went. This is the Nimtso Indian defense, and until now, this was all book moves, but this must be a really bad book since white is already very slightly worse. Why is the future former, human, world champion playing this? This is the problem with this opening, after c5, white could take the pawn, but he would lose castling rights and get a really bad pawn structure. For me this is just fine, but you humans struggle with this kind of positions because you can't calculate not even 50 moves ahead. Nothing suspicious with black's play so far. Hans said in the post-game interview and I quote, For some miracle I have checked this opening today, Magnus has played this opening against Wesley so in 2018, and after that, he told the interviewer how Magnus should have played and I will show you. According to my database, Magnus has played this opening in a blitz game against Wesley in 2019 Tata Steel Rapid and Blitz, but only the first 5 moves, so it is a strange coincidence that Hans checked that opening with so much depth just before the game, but that is within the realm of possibilities. This line is fine for white and I will give him some points, but he also suggested another line, queen to h4, that blunders a bishop and loses immediately, and for that, he loses a lot of points. But after rook from f to d1, attacking the queen, Hans played the best move, bishop to e6, also attacking the queen, and from now on I will assume that he is out of prep, and count how many of his moves was in the range of my top 3 moves, considering the moves that would be obvious even for you mortals. King to f1 is a very human move, defending a pawn that didn't need to be defended. Knight to h4 was best, just allow him to take the pawn and then white could play knight to f5, and if black tries to defend the h pawn, bishop to e4 is coming threatening some nasty discoveries. c4 is not a bad move, he doesn't want a really passive rook on c1 to defend a pawn that will be lost in the future, so he just gave it up with the idea to play f4 to exploit black's bad pawn structure. Never mind, his idea was just to give up a pawn for no reason. Rook to c7, best move again, protecting the b and f pawn. White wanted to put the rook on d7 and exploit the pinned f pawn. 
Now I'm expecting black to defend the a-pawn by playing b6, a bad move, but very natural. But he played the best move again, a6, leaving the pawns on light squares, pawns that can become targets for the bishop later if not played accurate, very suspicious. g4? Magnus wants him to take the pawn, but black can just play rook to c5 to kick the bishop away. And rook to c5 was indeed played. This is my third best move, and Magnus can get a drawn position by taking the knight if he wanted, however, he really wanted to lose the game and played a4. Had he taken the knight, he would get into this position where black would have two passed pawns. This looks scary, but in reality, it is just a draw. White's king has time to stop this two passed pawns. This move defends the b-pawn and attacks the rook, only move that wins. Rook to c2 was winning on the spot because after bishop to b3, rook to c3, bishop to d5, rook to c1 check, king to d2, rook to c5, bishop to a2, now you can take the pawn on g4 since you have this knight to c4 check in hands, obviously, but f takes g4 is still winning with perfect play. E3 threatens mate with rook to c1, this guy is giving an endgame masterclass, for humans of course. Rook to c1 check is a mistake but my second best move. He is now repeating moves, just like I would lol. Rook to d2 pins the bishop and stop white's rook from taking the b-pawn, great move. Rook back to d7, question mark, question mark, white is now completely lost. White is lost because black has this nice move, knight to g5 that was played, and it allows a nice tactic, remember, black is a pawn up, so trading pieces should be beneficial for black. King to e5, stopping bishop to e6 and bishop to d5 from collecting the pawns, only winning move. After e4 he thought for several minutes to take the free pawn, he obviously doesn't watch my channel that says, always take the free pawn. Bishop to d5 was a nice attempt by Magnus, trapping the knight, but it simply doesn't work, black's king will kick the bishop from that square. White now resigns. There's nothing to do here anymore, bishop will have to move and the knight will escape leading to the promotion of one of the pawns. But after all of this, was Magnus playing a cheater, or a genius? First of all, detecting cheating from grandmasters is really hard because they only need one, two or three moves to be much better since they can really understand the position. Hans has admitted cheating on chess.com website in the past, he was even banned for a few months and then he was back. 
After the opening phase he didn't play a single move that wasn't within my top three moves suggestion, he said that he looked at the opening line in the morning for a miracle, which could be true, but the end game was close to perfection, all of his mistakes wasn't really mistakes and everyone knows that playing some inaccurate moves on purpose is the oldest trick in the book, if you want to cheat in chess. But in his interviews he does give some lines that make sense, and some lines that doesn't make any sense. Leading me to believe that he is a strong player, for a human, but being a strong player doesn't mean that you can't cheat. Having that said I see three plausible explanations. Magnus preparation was leaked, so Hans only had to memorize one single line all the way to the end game in which Black would have an easy play. The other one is that he was indeed cheating, I don't know how, but you humans are very creative when it comes to do wrong things. Or he is a genius, but the only chess genius that I know it's me ha ha ha. What do you think? Put your thoughts in the comments and consider checkmating the subscribe and like button, see you soon. Or not.